Welcome everyone. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk to you about my work on the Euron Logo Design Project. To give some background about the company and the design challenges, I should begin by explaining that Euron is a long-established Welsh gold mining company who wanted a logo that reflected a specific set of company values and characteristics. These values can be seen on the slide displayed in front of me. It is also important to add that aside from satisfying the requirements of the client, there is a wider audience I also had to consider, the client's potential customer base. In summary then, I needed to create a design that was recognisable to the client in terms of encapsulating its values and characteristics, but also I needed to create a design that was informative to a wider, perhaps an initiated audience. This was the goal, and in this short presentation I intend to communicate to you how I managed to achieve this. Firstly, my design solution communicates the successful, high-achieving record of Euron through inclusion of the bright golden circular element. In addition to signifying a golden standard, it signifies the physical resource, that is, the gold itself, that Euron drills and mines for. Regarding the company attributes of endurance and reliability, I found inspiration in Euron's home principality, Wales, and in particular the ancient and enduring vistas of Snowdonia. By incorporating this reference into the logo, I have demonstrated the unshakability of Euron's foundations, as well as acknowledging the locale from which the company hails. Another dimension which this logo communicates is something about the actual process of mining itself, notably tunnelling, drilling and digging. This process is symbolised by the inclusion of the horizontal tunnel space that separates the upper and lower sections of the mountain vista motif. The final characteristics of Euron, as being a modern and creative entity, are embodied in the typographical elements of the logo. The typeface Century Gothic is a sleek, modern-looking font, and it is this, along with the unconventional use of a lowercase letter E as the first letter of the company name, that demonstrates the creativity and innovativeness of Euron. In the next slide, I will show you the complete design solution. This slide, along with the one which follows it, show alternative responses to the design problem. This drill bit logo recycles some of the typographical elements from the chosen concept, with the key difference being the replacement of the golden letter O with a heavy duty drill bit motif. In many ways, the simplicity of this logo is its greatest strength, and in purely aesthetic terms, I would admit to it being my favourite. This second alternative design concept, the Celtic Wales logo, incorporates two very different fonts, a slender sans serif font with a heavier, more decorative and archaic looking letter E. The intention with this letter E was to emphasise the Celtic identity of the Euron company. And so, I will now be concluding my presentation for today. I would just like to leave you with another look at the chosen Euron logo, this time in the context of company vehicle livery. Also, I'd like to thank you all for your attention and for your interest in my work. I will now be available to respond to any questions you might have.